Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, I'll show you the SEO topic planning based on user intent. Everything I will clear in this video so that you can get an idea what the user intent is and how it works and everything about the SEO strategies. So let me show you one by one. You can see I already opened my screen. So before I'm going to the main topic, I want to show you one website that is helping businesses to do the AI SEO for their website. You can see I already opened a website called Boostify. You can see I already integrate the integrate my own website here. You can see here this is my website domain. And if I show you the analytics result of this site or my site, you can see here are the full analytics result and here are the top ranking pages that I have in my website. And they are showing the current impression of my site, current impression of this page and current impression of this. And also click, you can see the total click I have earned from this link. You can see 133 and from this site, it will be 12 and for this, it will be 53. And you can see which pages are ranking well, they are showing. Okay. So if I show you one by one in the view all option, you can see here is the top ranking pages they are showing to me here is the top ranking pages so everything is there you can see they are working one by one so you can see here the full results so I am recommending to use this site for your website SEO you can see here is the full analytics data and the 30 days result three months result everything you can watch from here if I show you here is the section and here is the export result and here is the all of the information they are showing to me so if I show you here are the recent blog posts that is working well for my website and you can see the keywords, you can see the volume and action result and everything. And you can see the optimized pages if you scroll down here. So what is the best option for this tool? So if you have a website and you don't have the time to do the SEO for your website and you don't know how to rank your website on Google, then I'm recommending you to just integrate this site to your website and then let them keep to do the SEO for your website and you don't need to do any kind of SEO like keyword research, technical SEO, manual SEO and everything you don't need to do. This site will do for you everything. Okay. Now let me show you my full category. You can see. So here is the, our main topic. So if I show you one by one, so our main topic is SEO topic planning based on user intent. Okay. So first of all, we need to know what is user intent. So the user intent is called search intent is the reason behind user search query on Google or any search engine. It answers the question. It answers the question like in one word, you can see what does the user want to find or do. It's called user intent. When you will be in Google and you search something in Google and then something is showing to you. So that's called search intent or user intent. When user will identify their needs, identify their wants, then you can talk about it. That's it, user intent. And now let me show you how many user intent have in Google. So here are the three types of user intent you can see already I visited. Let me show you one by one. So the first one is informational intent type. The first one is informational. The second one is navigational and the third one is transactional. So the informational purpose means user wants to learn something. When anyone will search in Google with some information, like they want to learn something like how to learn SEO, how to learn SEO related blogs, everything. When user intent will be or user demands will be to learn something, then you can call it informational okay example queries like what is seo how to start a blog this is very important for you because you are learning something that's mean it's an informational intent and the navigational navigational means user wants to visit or user want to visit a site or page like you can see wordpress login or boostify login like our website so user will navigate your website when you have a course when you have a tool and user needs to log in the site and after that they can watch everything this is called navigational user intent 
like suppose you are searching boostify in google and then you are adding your email password then you are logging in your site and then you are getting the information about your site like i have shown to you the previously so that's called navigational okay and the third one is transactional user intent the transactional user intent means user wants to take action like buy something purchase something or lead complete lead or anything okay you can see the example queries is buy hosting hire seo expert when user intent will be to buy something from your site like a product you have a product and you want to sell this product now you are doing your seo and people are searching in the site and then they find your website and then enter your website and then they purchase your product or services that's called user transactional intent okay so let me show you another thing keyword table with user intent this is an example based let me show you one by one the keyword is how to start a blog that's mean this is informational user intent best blog platforms this is also informational because you are learning something when you will learn something then it will be called by people that is a informational user intent okay now let me show you wordpress login page that's mean this is a navigational when you have a course when you have a information in other site and you want to revisit this site or log in this site that's called navigational and hire an seo expert seo tools for beginners hire an seo expert this one is transactional because you are doing some transaction or you are hiring someone or you are paying someone that's called transactional and then also seo tools for beginners it's called information well because you are providing some information and you are getting some information also by hosting for blog this is transactional what is on page seo this is informational create content strategy this one is also informational okay so i hope you understand about this now let me show you another option how to use this for content planning this is the main section of this video because you are right now know how to do this and how many user intent have in the seo section and also you know that what is user intent is now how to use it this is the main theme of this video so intent type is informational navigational transactional so for the informational your content type should be blog post tutorial or guide okay why this are let me explain because informational means you will provide some details about your blog about your site about your page about your services about your products then people will learn something or you can make tutorial related like how to do this how to buy a hosting this kind of and you can also guide you can also guide your people or guide your audience the navigational means you can use a support page where people can contact you where people can add their information so that they can contact you this kind of user intent will be navigational the transactional will be landing page or your sales page or your product page or your service page where you want to drive your traffic to buy something from your website okay that's called transactional as well so let me show you another thing here is the why matter intent is in seo you can see why user intent matter in seo let me explain one by one help you create the right type of content for the keywords this is the first rule it will help you to create the right type of content for the keywords the second one is increase your ranking chance like google favors intent matching pages or others and it will improve your ctr or conversion rates and also it will reduce bounce rate user get exactly when they want now let me show you another thing you can see live example of user intent if i show you in the picture you can see here is the user intent type i search in google and the google is showing me this kind of data this is called ai of overview that's mean it will be informational because google providing me such a information here are the informational and here are the navigational why this are the navigational because they are the 
sites, third party sites. They are giving me information and they are trying to give me the information for their own satisfaction. Like, let me explain one by one. When I will enter their website, they need to log in and they will ask me to log in their site. That's mean I am providing my information and that's called navigational. And after fill up this kind of information, then they will give me email. They will email me, email me again and again and then tell me to buy their product, buy their service, buy their information or anything. That's called transactional. So I hope you understand about the everything of this page and you have right now the idea of SEO topic planning based on user intent. And I hope you don't have any question or if you have any question, just directly contact me or enter my website like Boostify then ask me anything. Thank you very much.